Hello everybody, my name is Gus Johnson. I am the band director at El Paso Gridley uh, Unit 11 in Central Illinois. I teach 5 through 12 band and I just discovered this super cool tool um, in Google Forms where you can actually upload files directly into Google Form like from a cell phone or from a Chromebook or from a, a, a laptop or desktop. So I wanted to share because this at least is news to me and, um, it, and I'm like Google trained so I mean this is kind of cool. All right, here's what you're going to do. Uh, go to forms.google.com, or you can just go into your Google account and click on the file and make a new form. Uh, make a new form, give it a title. I'll just call this one title. Uh, you can give it a description if you want to. So that's where like you can give uh, general instructions about the assignment. Uh, first question, I usually connect a name or collect a name and sometimes a grade and an instrument just so that when I'm going through my, my results in my spreadsheet, um, I can see more easily and I can sort more easily by, you know, uh, let's look at all the fifth graders, let's look at all the sixth graders, stuff like that. Anyway, so once you collect that type of information, now is when you get into the actual assignment where you want to collect a file type. So give your question title, um, uh, uh, submit a video of you practicing the concert. Whoops, F major. I'm typoing all over the place. Scale in eighth notes. Okay. So submit a video of you practicing the concert F major scale in eighth notes. Uh, now I need to go into my my drop down menu here from the question types, and you see I've got multiple options. I'm going to choose the file upload. And it gives you some information here. Files will be uploaded from the form owner's Google Drive. Respondents will be required to sign into Google when the file upload questions are added to a form. Make sure to only share this form with people you trust. So I don't know if that means that you need a Google account. Um, I know that when you open it in uh, on, on a device, it does allow you to record a video straight from your device into the form. So I, I'm not really sure. Um, uh, somebody out there in the internet can, can tell me, yes, no, it doesn't work, stuff like that. Uh, so you click OK on that screen. Uh, and now what you need to do, there's a toggle switch that says allow specific file types. Turn that on. and. I would click the video if you want them to submit a video um, or if you want them to submit just audio of them playing that's a smaller file type um, and it could be anonymous. Uh, you can also have them submit just a picture of them practicing for the day. Uh, you know, So there are different things that you can do. You can also have them submit documents and things like that. Um, I usually allow students to submit up to five, or at least I will be, because I do have students who do chunk their videos, like they'll play four measures and then have to stop because their phone, I don't know, kicks them out of video or whatever. Uh, so I do allow multiple. I do set the file size to as large as possible because you never know when someone's going to have a really, really big video size. Uh, it does warn you when you do that that this form is no longer accepting responses because a single response can exceed the gigabyte total size limit. To get around that, there's a, an option here to click change, click change, and uh, where it says maximum size, size of all files uploaded, just change that to the, the maximum that you have. That way you never run out of space, you don't have to worry about it. Set it to required, and you are ready to go. I will send this to myself. And by the way, my email address is gustavjohnson at unit11.org. That's G-U-S-T-A-V dot Johnson at unit11.org. Um, so I'll send that to myself. I'll show you what it looks like here on the internet, and I'll show you what it looks like also on my phone. So here we go. I'll fill out this form. And you see that all my information is there. My name is Gus Johnson. And now I can add a file. So if I click this on a Chromebook or a desktop, um, after recording a screen recording uh, using your web camera, uh, then uh, you can upload it to there or you can click it from the file folder. But if you open it on your device, and I will go back to my uh, mail, you should. Uh, I'm going to pause it. 